The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Hear the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word and, bears, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If the priest nga inyong gisim, nga sa misa nga inyong gisibahan ni atong Domingo read the short version of the gospel reading today is the explanation of that parable but if the priest with whom you have celebrated mass or you listened to or you heard read the long version this gospel reading today is already a repetition because today's gospel reading is already the interpretation of the parable of the sower. Although the parable focuses on the sower who sows the seed and the, word, the seed is the word, it also has something to do with the interaction between what is sown by the sower and the different kinds of soils meaning to say the dispositions. And I think this is a very beautiful way of reminding once more of ourselves that there are so many dispositions we may be uh, particular, particularly observing. Dili lang mga luna o mga lugar o kahigayunan ang gihisgutan sa maong disposition, kundili kita mismo. Okay? Each and every individual person Pwede nga mahimong upat ka mga dispositions sama sa upat ka matang sa yuta di inahulog ang binhi. Because you know, we know ourselves. Sometimes we get so attentive. Sometimes we have so many things to do. Sometimes it's not just, it's just so difficult also to focus. And so, there is what we call a macro perspective dako nga pagtanaw like putting the context of the of the kinds of soil into the bigger perspective but also what we call a micro no, a micro perspective because we in many different times and occasions can be classified also as the kinds of soil where the seed actually fell but what is interestingly significant here is the constant spreading or preaching of the Word of God. And that's the reason why if you heard what I said at the start of the homily during the reading of this gospel reading in, uh, last Sunday or the other Sunday, I was talking about broadcasting because that is the manner of farming during the time of Jesus. Broadcast is isabuam. And so since it is broadcast, any seed can fall on any kind of soil. Kay ang mga tao sa panahon ni Jesus sa Palestine only later will plow the seed, will plow the field after the seed is being sown or thrown or broadcast. Muna nga ang katong na dito sa dalan, di gito maapil og daro. Gawas kon ang ang farmer iyang daruho ng dalan. No? Kay kabalo biya kas mga tao ron bisag waydayat, but waydalan maghimo pagdan. No, kita mo yung muhimo ugdan. 
But anyway, this kind of attitude is really very significant even in our times. Ilabi na karon nga daghan na kayong sources of information. The main point and the, the real challenge here is how we can grasp the word. But once we have a grasp of the word, we have to struggle with it. That is the meaning of who heard the word and understand it. But after the grappling with the meaning, we have to do it and show it in terms of our deeds and actions. Not because we want to have a hundred, a sixty, or a thirty. Dili mani padaghanay ubunga. And as I have been always telling, it depends on the disposition that we have and the capacity that is given us. Some are given a higher capacity, some are not. Some are lower. But if your capacity is higher, you have to reach that. If it's 100, you have to reach the limit. You have to reach the, the fullness, the, the maximum. If you are given 30, and then you cannot come up to 30, then we still have to do many things more. But if our capacity is only 60, and then we can give 75, you know what it is. It's corruption already. And this is actually a very interesting point to reflect on. And finally, before we end our reflection, we do not just only talk and think and reflect about those who have received the word and are trying to live the word. But we are also talking and praying most especially about those who have received the word, the seed, but haven't born fruit yet. Katungwa po gid nakapamunga. Ug mo na atong iapil sa atong mga pag-ambo. Amen.